Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We last time successfully got uh, our mapping satellite in orbit of the Mun. I've had it running, I've had the Kerbin one running, so they're probably ready to transmit some data back by now, I would think. So we'll see how much science we get. Today we're going to probably launch... It's 99.9% 90, .9 is missing like one little gap. That's probably good enough. Let's see. Anal, do I want to analyze the data? Yeah, transmit that science. Awesome sauce. So we can probably get that from the Kerbin one as well. If that's only worth that's worth 20 there, so I don't imagine the Kerbin one's going to be worth all that much. But let's check in and see how Kerbin's doing as well. We're going to be sending one of these to uh, Minmus today. Is the plan? Get that started being mapped. And yeah, Kerbin's done. I'm just going to leave them scanning. There's no point in taking these down or anything. So it's not actually worth that much less than the, the Mun. Hmm. Alright, so Space Center. I've had this weird problem sometimes when I switch back to the Space Center. So when it would probably usually would have crashed, but the tracking center just has no buttons. Like, you, like it doesn't show any of the flights being uh, in progress or anything like that. I'm hoping that that's something that will be fixed. It, I don't know if it's related to a mod or if it's related to the fact that this is still in uh, pre-release or whatever. All right, so one change that I need to make here is we do have a mission to scan using I just clicked out of the window hold on I'll be back in one second Fraps likes to die when I do that so hopefully everything's back here uh, we need to what was I doing oh yeah we need to add is it this thing the reflected light thing let's let's double check because it's not inexpensive VIP 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 ionization scan of Minmus so that would be the ionization scanner is this thingy how much does this cost 4500 it is not cheap either but we can I wonder if it'll fit in the service bay it's not gonna fit if I just snap so smack it on there but we can probably do something like we only need one do that not even gonna bother saving the change. I wonder if it's worth bringing this thing with us. It's more money. You know what? We'll save that one for a future mission. I'm not even gonna bother updating the save because does it have any other objectives? It's just have the part. Okay. And that is definitely. Let's just double check. That is definitely this part. Why will you not tell me your name, part? I don't like parts that don't tell me their names. Ionization chamber, yeah, that's the right part. All right, close that bad boy down. Let's go ahead and launch this thing. Now, we had tons of Delta V last time, so I think this launch stage is actually probably good enough to launch the probe that I want to launch to actually land, because uh, it will be a lighter craft. So let's leave all that stuff up. SAS on, main engine start. And away we go. Let's see what our mission tracker has to say about itself. Yeah, it says we have the part. What was the other thing? Science data from the surface. Achieve orbit around Minimus. We should be getting that part done. Alright, awesome. So we should make a, a, a decent amount of money. We'll get this mission done here. How, it doesn't tell me how much... I really wish we had the uh, improved mission tracker thing available right now, but it just doesn't work. I... The standard game does not do a very good job of telling you what the heck's going on. With a lot of things, like the instrumentation is pretty lacking in a lot of things in this game, frankly. Let's get this ready to go with the circularization while I'm thinking of it. good steady climb here I didn't touch the thrust settings at all so apparently we've got things relatively well balanced now and separation 
I was timed a little bit close. I, I got I got a little over eager. I kind of anticipated the separation there a little too much. Could have been bad. Do that too early. Nasty things happen. All right, so hopefully we'll get a, a decent ascent this time. I kind of screwed up my ascent a little bit last time. It didn't end up mattering, but. We'll stick at about 45 degrees the whole time, I think, just to get until we get our apoapsis up high enough. We want our time to apoapsis to keep increasing because the next stage does not have it. Well, it's over one thrust to weight ratio, but it's still not the, the best. So keep that going. And I think we'll go for about an 80 to 90,000 kilometer uh, orbit again. And then I'll mess around with my maneuver nodes, get all set up. Try to come in on a polar approach. It's less important at mid-miss because inclination changes there are basically free. But I would still like to, you know, execute relatively well on this. You know, we're getting far enough ahead. We can probably just try to get some more speed picked up here now. Because our time to apoapsis is pretty high and we'll be leaving the atmosphere not as bad as like when I did that docking that was bad my take off on that one I would like to basically use up this stage if possible so let's angle over even more just so we're picking up more speed rather than as much altitude Good, we're going to use up the stage just about when I want to. That ended up being fairly well timed out, I think. 76, that's probably pretty good. Go ahead and separate. Let's just make sure we're actually deploying the thing. I think we're deploying. Let that go, nice and gentle-like. Cool beans. And I'm going to wait till we're in space here. And uh, let's stabilize this some more. Get our antenna activated, solar panels out, and boom, do this thing. That was a little bit better of a, a takeoff than we've been doing lately. So yeah, I don't, I don't think, for the most part, Aside from maybe a lander, I'm not really going to change the designs too much between things that go to the MUN and things that go to MinMIS because it essentially ends up equaling out to be the same in the end. Did I not like that stage? That was a mistake. It's going to put off our orbit a little bit. This doesn't need to be a very pretty orbit as long as it's an orbit. So we should have, it looks like 2,000 Delta V still, so that's plenty to get us into the orbit that we want out at Minmus. Plenty. We just have to remember to not separate until we've done that ionization scan. Which I will forget if I don't actually bring it up here. That'll be a good little reminder there that, that we need to do that. Alright, so. Just get us out of the atmosphere. That's all I care about. Thank you, game. Started that burn a little too late, but it ended up working out just fine. So I'm going to go fiddle around and get my encounter with uh, Minmus set up. Get our radio transmission set up. Set our target. Let's have this. Alright, I'm reasonably happy with this. It's probably not going to get executed perfectly enough, but it will more than likely be good enough. Let, and then we can make the final adjustments on route. Let's go ahead and... I don't know if that actually works because we're time warping. Did that change our targeting? It says Kerbin. That's what it says. So it's less than a thousand delta V. We should have 50% of our fuel left. It's not going to take anywhere near that much to, uh, in this stage we'll have 50% of our fuel left. It's not going to take anywhere near that much to actually uh, complete this orbit. And then we can 
fine-tune things down from there. The first priority is just going to be to stay in a stable orbit and get the uh, ionization thing going. Probably activate that as soon as we get into orbit and then I'll worry about uh, purdying up the orbit a little bit from there. So it says it's activated and aimed at Kerbin, so we should be good with all that. And again, we're coming over the pole, so we should not be in any sort of blind spot for our uh, antenna or anything like that. see the actual execution get completed out here how close it comes to being what it's supposed to be it looks like it's almost like probably like 85 degrees inclination or something like that if it actually pulls that off the maneuver editor is really useful for stuff like that because you can't actually edit the node very well because you have to click over there and be dragging stuff around the maneuver editor makes that so much easier there goes our Apoaps. Really starts increasing for the la you know that last little bit. You really start getting that thing going. And did it do it? There's our encounter. Excellent. Bang on. So shift back to our vessel and enjoy the ride out to Minmus I guess it's a long trip get the slow it down actually real quick did we already do anything useful with the ionization thing Log ionization. Yes, we've already got it over Kerbin, but we should be getting some science back. That'll be good. Close that bad boy up. Let's go ahead and do a quick save just because I'm paranoid about things crashing on me when things are going well. Be interested to see what our inclination actually is when we get into the sphere of influence here. Easy does it. I don't want to be going at crazy speed over the boundary here. It's our time. 40 something. 10 minutes. We're going so slow out here. We're going 67 meters per second. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and just make sure we get this orbit stabilized before. Why would you. Next, periaps. And let this thing do its thing. Oh, I wanted to open that bay real quick and see if we could get a scan from out here. Why does it say I'm in orbit? I'm not technically in orbit around Minmus. The little goal tracker says I'm already in orbit. Let me open the doors. Open the pod bay doors. And apparently we already got the science for that, but let's go ahead and start our ionization thingy. Did it start? stand by okay good to go so while that is scanning let's go ahead and we don't really even need to be very concerned about what what uh, altitudes we're doing this stuff from let's go ahead and just change this well yeah well I'm scared of pressing buttons for some reason right now so we're orbiting in this direction, okay. Let's go ahead and I'll manually make a maneuver here, I guess. No, we're man we're orbiting the other way, that's right, okay. This 
So right now we are in a really lofty orbit. Orbital speeds out here are kind of slow anyway. But... At least we'll get that scan done relatively quickly. We'll probably just be doing time warping until we get to here. Get to crash something into uh, Minmus, too. It's always fun. What is our... Oh good, we, we're perfect too. Uh, we're going to be orbiting this way right now, which means Minmus will not obstruct our view of Kerbin at all. That is excellent. Periaps is pretty good. Let's go ahead and get down there. Did we complete our contract? We did. Wasn't well, that just something? So we got some money for that. How much money are we up to now? Oh, it won't tell me right now. Money. Money. Stuff got destroyed. And whoa, look at that. That contract was well worthwhile. So that's going to pay for some... That paid for our whole satellite network, basically. Where is Minmus? Am I just missing something here? There it is. Oh, we're really high up. Is this really going to be an ideal altitude for doing this from? Seems ridiculously high. And we're, we got some actual signal delay going on out here too. But it doesn't matter because MechJub is handling the actual execution of things. Let's go ahead and start our scan. Does it say it's ideal? Ideal! Excellent! Life is good. Does this thing... We're still probably in the same orbit, so yeah, it has no useful data. So there's really nothing left to do at this point, but separate, crash this thing, and scan away. Decouple. Now I'm going to have to be somewhat careful about this, because we're going to screw up our orbit a little bit. Well, there's our inclination. It's 87 degrees. I think we'll probably fidget with our inclination and stuff a little bit using this thing. Go ahead and boom. Just get her clear. So yeah, I think we'll we'll mess around with the inclination a little bit to get it a little more perfect. But while we are still in range of that, because we have a relatively short range on this thing, let's go ahead and burn just radially or something to get away. And get ready to smack this bad boy into Minmus. All right, sayonara. It's good knowing you. All right, so I am going to leave this thing scanning. Like I said, I'm probably going to change my inclination. In fact, let's just do that to be about 90 degrees. What? Is, where is this node? One hour away. Execute. But uh, so we have mapping of the most basic level started on every planet in our. Kerbin system here, and that means the next phase is going to be actually scouting a landing site on uh, the MUN. And how I want to go about that is I want to land some sort of small rover that can do a few science experiments and kind of get the lay of the land, report back, and then we'll start designing a real lander once we get the mission. I want the mission to land on the MUN before we actually land anything on the MUN. So after we get this inclination uh, change done, we're going to go ahead and uh, see if it actually has a mission for us uh, yet for any of that stuff because I'd really rather be getting paid to do this rather than spending money if you know what I mean I need to be somewhat optimal with things so that will just do its business let's go ahead and make sure we change its name while we're here to uh, Minmus Scansat and since we'll be sending out future Scansats we'll call it Minmus Scansat 1 just like we did with the other ones because we will need to send different instruments out eventually. But, let's see if we have any new missions available. I always get worried when the game takes longer than I expect to do something. Okay, Taurus, Taurus, sign crew, cr what? Why would I even want to do that? Well, 
we'll keep an eye on that one. Think about it. Plant the flag on Minmus. Science data from the surface of the Mun. This is kind of related to something that we already have going on. So does it actually need to be returned or is a transmission fine? Yeah, transmit. So let's take this because we'll have a, a probe landing on the Mun soon. So I'm going to get to work designing a probe capable of landing on the Mun. We don't have landing assistance, so it's going to be a mostly manual landing this time. And uh, I'm going to build in some extra Delta V to account for that. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.